Hi, I'm Michael Steele. I'm General Manager of Visual Consumer Solutions. Uh, my group is in charge of enabling software developers to deliver non-gaming consumer applications uh, for the GPU, leveraging uh, the hundreds of parallel processing cores we have, uh, as well as the 3D graphics performance. It's no secret among any of us that uh, the way we interact and use our technology has changed tremendously just in the last three or four years. Uh, Facebook, for example, has 400 million users. Uh, there are over 15 billion photos that have been uploaded to Facebook uh, with as many as 200 million uh, a week. Uh, YouTube has over 20 hours of video uploaded every minute, which is uh, really the equivalent of uh, over 100,000 Hollywood-style feature-length videos uh, being released every week. So we all need better ways of, of creating, uh, editing, and, and sharing all this content, and that's where the GPU really comes into play. Uh, and it really all started with video transcoding, but it certainly doesn't end there. Uh, today, many of the most popular video editing applications are GPU accelerated using CUDA, uh, offering as much as 500% faster performance. Uh, we're also seeing new and simpler ways to uh, enhance video. Uh, applications like vReveal from Motion DSP uh, now let you uh, enhance your video, your HD video, in real time. That's something that today's fastest CPU can't even come close to. Uh, but it's even more than that. Uh, we're seeing applications such as 3D modeling, uh, optical character recognition, uh, digital illustration, uh, and even face tagging in photos. Uh, and even, even beyond that, we're even seeing TV tuners now being ported over to the GPU. And what's more, uh, all of these applications are becoming much more accessible to consumers. For example, last quarter, uh, thousands of copies of Cyberlink's PowerDirector uh, were bundled with GeForce GPUs. And today you can visit the NVIDIA driver page and download a free copy of vReveal. So we're really just uh, seeing developers just now starting to scratch the surface of what they can do with GPUs. Uh, the way we look at it is uh, software developers with CUDA and GPU are just at Rev 0.1. Uh, there's plenty of headroom for additional optimizations of existing applications. Uh, but what's probably even more exciting is we're seeing the GPU being used as a catalyst uh, for developments and designs that uh, just a few years ago we never would have dreamed of.